Hey guys, do you want to unlock the full potential of your Moto Edge 50 Pro? Then routing is the game changer you need. It lets you remove bloatware, boost performance and customize Android your way with zero limits. So in this video, I'll show you how to route the Moto Edge 50 Pro running Android 15 using Magisk step by step. This method also works for other Motorola Edge phones like the Edge 50 Fusion, Edge 40 and even the new Edge 60 series. This method is beginner friendly and doesn't require TWRP. The video might be a bit long, so I've added chapters. Feel free to skip to any part you need. But before we start a quick disclaimer, routing your phone may void your warranty and there's always a small risk if steps are not followed properly. So make sure to back up your data and proceed at your own risk. This is the Moto Edge 50 Pro running the latest Android 15 update. But don't worry, the steps are the same even if you're on Android 14 or using other Motorola Edge phones. Now let's turn on developer options. Go to settings, scroll down to about phone and tap on build number 7 times until you see a message saying you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to system, tap on developer options. Before we continue, make sure your bootloader is unlocked. I've made a full video on how to do it for any Motorola phone. Check the link on screen or in the description. Once your bootloader is unlocked, also turn on USB debugging. We'll need this to send commands from the PC in the next step. Alright, next thing we need is boot image file for our Moto Edge. So here I have the init boot image for my Moto Edge. Now let me show you exactly how to download it for your device. First, connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. And as soon as you connect it, your phone should show a pop-up asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap allow to grant it. If the pop-up doesn't appear right away, don't worry. It will show up when we run our first ADB command. So for now, leave your phone connected and let's switch over to the PC screen. On the PC, the first thing you need to do is download and install the Motorola software fix tool from the link in the description. I've already installed it, so let me go ahead and open it. Once it launches, click on continue and it will ask you to log in or create an account. If you don't already have a Motorola account, just sign in with Google. It's quick and easy. I'll go ahead and log into mine. After logging in, under device type, make sure to select phones. Now before we can proceed, we need to put our phone into fast boot mode. To do this, download the platform tools from the link in the description and extract the zip file. Once extracted, open the folder, click on the address bar at the top, type cmd and hit enter. This will open a command prompt window directly inside the platform tools folder. Now in the command prompt window, type adb devices to check the connection between your phone and the PC. If you see a serial number listed, that means your Motorola device is successfully connected. But if it shows as unauthorized, just check your phone you'll see a pop-up asking for USB debugging permission. Tap allow and then run the command again. Next step is to boot into fast boot mode. To do that, type the command ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your phone screen will go black for a second. Then it'll enter fast boot mode with some text and information displayed. So wait for it. And yes, the device is now in fast boot mode and the tool has detected it. Here we have all the details, the model number, serial number, Android version and more. Now you'll see a download option. Just click it to download the official firmware for your device. We'll extract the initboot.img from it. And since it's an exact match, there's no risk of a boot loop. The download takes a few minutes. Once it's finished, the download button changes to rescue. That means it's done. And yes, we've now got the rescue button, but don't press it. Instead, open File Explorer and go to Local Disk C. At the top, click on the View tab, then select Show and make sure Hidden Items is checked. This will reveal hidden folders like Program Data. Open the Program Data folder, then go to RSA, followed by Download and finally open the ROM Files folder. And yes, here is the complete firmware for our Moto Edge 60 with all the essential files included. 
like the boot image, bootloader, flash script, and more. Now, on newer Motorola devices, you'll usually find two boot-related files, one named boot.img and another called init boot image. In this case, we'll be using the init boot image for routing. Now, just restart your device by pressing the power button. Once it boots back up, move the init boot image file to your phone's internal storage. Let me quickly boot and connect the device. Alright, the device is connected. Let me go ahead and move the init boot image file to my Moto phone. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. It really helps a lot. And trust me, making these kinds of videos takes a lot of time and effort. Alright, let's create Magisk patched file. So open the Magisk app. Here, tap on install, then choose select and patch a file. Now find and select the init boot image file that we just copied to the phone. Once selected, just click on Let's Go. Magisk will now start patching the file and in a few seconds, it will save the patched image inside the download folder. File is now created and saved to download folder. Let's confirm it in the file manager. And yes, here's our Magisk patched image. Now let's move this file back to the PC and switch over to the PC screen to flash it. On the PC, just move the patched file to any folder you like. I'll go ahead and move it to the downloads folder for easy access. Now open the command prompt window again. Make sure it's inside the platform tools folder like before. Now we need to boot into fast boot mode again. First, make sure your device is connected to the PC, then check the connection by typing ADB devices. Once you see the serial number, type the command ADB reboot bootloader to boot into fast boot mode. Let's wait a moment while the device boots up into fast boot mode. Once your phone is in fast boot mode, type the command fast boot devices. And yes, if you see the serial number again, that means your device is successfully connected in fast boot mode. Now type fast boot reboot fast boot. This will boot your Motorola into fast boot D mode, which we need to flash the Magis patched image. Once the device has booted into fast boot D mode, check the connection again by typing the same command fast boot devices. If your device shows up, we're good to go. Now it's time to flash the Magis patched boot image. Type this command, fastboot flash init boot a and then drag and drop the patched boot file into the command prompt and then hit enter. Once that's done, you also need to flash the same file to slot b. Just run the same command again, but replace underscore a with underscore b. Once the patched init boot image is flashed to both slot A and slot B, it's time to reboot your phone. Just type the command fastboot reboot and hit enter. Your Motorola device will now restart and boot into the system. This might take a bit longer than usual, so don't panic. Let me quickly fast forward the video while it boots up. Alright, the phone has booted up successfully. Now let's open the Magisk app. And yes, as you can see, Magisk is installed and version is 30.1, means our Moto DevC is rooted successfully. To double check root access, let's open the Root Checker app and verify root. And yes, as you can see the message, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So that's how you root Moto Edge 50 Pro using Magisk, safely, without TDWRP and in just a few easy steps. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. It really motivates me to keep making these in-depth tutorials for you. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.